you know, we, we substantially raised the rigor bar of the assessment switching from tox, uh, tax to, to star. There's like no debate about that. The question is, did we also substantially in, uh, increase the investment that we were making in our people to, to execute at this new higher level of expectation? And Am I hearing you say that really we probably should be investing more in resources than in assessments? You know, uh, so you know, you're going to have to forgive a very long answer to that question. I think when we think about state level big picture education policy, there's basically two plays that you can call. You can call the assessment and accountability play, which we started calling about 30 years ago, and you can call the human capital play. Um, and the human capital play is what they started ca um, calling 30 years ago in Japan and Korea and Finland and Singapore. Uh, and we never really did that. Now, um, they also made the assessment and accountability play call in the Asian countries. And they're, so they're doing both of these plays. We're doing one, and it's assessment and accountability, and Finland is doing one, and it's just teachers. All of them are outperforming us. The Asian countries are outperforming Finland. So both of these are good calls. Um, the, the, um, you know, this, this is the, uh, and of course, there's a bunch of different ways to measure these things, by the way. So, um, the, the, um, it's not to say that uh, I wouldn't, wouldn't sp spend money on assessment and accountability, but clearly investing in the capacity of our educators is going to, is going to, uh, give us huge results long term. Um, I think it's, I think the evidence is overwhelmingly clear. You know, it is, it is, I hear sometimes people say, you know, if, with the test, well, we're going to blame schools, we're going to blame teachers, we're going to blame kids. This is not the right way to look at test results. Um, the right way to look at it is, is what is our practice as a whole, as a system. And this includes us at TEA, includes legislative policy, includes how we lead our school systems. And to make sure that we're creating an aligned system of su support um, to, to do that. This is one of the reasons I have a great deal of optimism because of the laser focus on this issue that House Bill 3 places to try to invest in the capacity of our people. You know, we, we substantially raised the rigor bar of the assessment switching from tox, uh, tax to, to star. There's like no debate about that. The question is, did we also substantially in, uh, increase the investment that we were making in our people to, to execute at this new higher level of expectation? And if we don't, um, if we don't invest in the capacity of our educators, then, I mean, we can raise the standards as much as we want. It's really hard to get there.